Now we are ready to assembling the robot. First, we will attach bow motor to the chassis. There are dedicated slot where the motor fit perfectly. Make sure to align them properly and secure them tightly using a screw as needed. Now installing the AIC board and motor driver. First, connect our 5 pin GST wire. and connect our 4 pin GST wire Now we have ultrasonic sensor to detect the object with module. First connect your ultrasonic sensor with module. Then connect the ultrasonic sensor with your AC board. After the proper wiring, we move to the coding part. Now let us start making the code and then we will understand it. So first take Vanadino again. Then go to the control section and take forever. Then make a variable. So go to the variable option and make a variable with any name. Then take set value, go to the plus icon and add some extension, so go to the sensor, add ultrasonic, now it's loaded and go to the actuator and add IP9810, it's loaded, so go back and go to the ultrasonic and take ultrasonic pin 
and change the pin number so trigger pin as a 8 and echo pin as a 9 now take in channel make a duplicate give the value 1 and 2 these work as a motor 1 or motor 2 so motor 1 i n 1 as 12 and i n 2 as a 2 and e n as 3 now in channel 2 or motor 2 as in IN1 as A0, IN2 as A1, and EN10. Now go to the control section and take if else and make a condition. So go to the operator and take end operator and then take a greater than and smaller than operator and give the value 0 and 20. And go to the variable and take value. Now go to the many times and take channel 0. Make the duplicate of this block and give the value 1 and 2. These are your motor, motor 1 or motor 2. So motor 1 and motor 2 both run as back with the speed minus 255. Now give some weight, go to the control section and take away and give some weight according to you. Here I give 0.5 seconds. Now take one more if else and make some new condition. So go to the operator and take equal operator and take pick render. Give the value 0, 2, equals to 0. Now go to the IQ9 return and take channel, make a duplicate, give 1 and 2, these are your motor. So motor 1 run as reverse, the back, and motor 2 run as forward with the speed 255 and back with the speed minus 255. Now in else condition, take one more channel, duplicate this. G1 and 2. Now this time motor 1 run as forward and motor 2 run as back with the speed minus 255. Now give some weight. So go to the control section and take weight. Then go to the F9 return and take channel. and give 1 and 2 now this time both motor run as forward with the speed 255 now your code is ready now understand our code so first we take when Arduino begin then we take forever then set a variable with a name value to understand sensor reading we connect motor 1 and motor 2 with a specific direction and pace motor 1 is using D12, A2 and EN on pin number 3. Motor 2 is using A0, A1 on EN pin number 10. Then we take a if else condition and take one operator to define the condition. If distance is between 0 and 20, both motor move in back. It will take 0.5 seconds. Then we take one more if else condition for random turn logic. Now we pick a random number for from 0 to 2. If the number is 0, the car turn left by reversing motor 1 and moving motor 2 forward. In else condition, the car turn right by moving motor 1 forward and reversing motor 2. After turning it wait again for 0.5 seconds. Now in other condition, the car move forward, both motor move in forward direction at 100% speed. You can change the speed accordingly. Now upload the code. Finally, after the code upload, connect the battery and the robot will be ready for testing.